in this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector. We'd like to show you how you can use anchor points to change the focus of the camera in post-production on a video. Anchor points were introduced in PowerDirector version 19 or those of you who have PowerDirector 365 with the update as of September 2020. Now anchor points are used both within the title designer and the pip designer. They're also used for rotation values or scale values. So we'll have several tutorials on all the ways to use them. But in this case, we're going to look at editing a video and working with scale using the anchor points. Let me show you the challenge that I faced. I have some stock footage. And we, as we play it, we see the camera move in past the guy by the window. It's going to focus on the gal at the table. And about 10 seconds in, it locks in on her. And that's fine, but I would rather have it lock in on her phone. And so how do we make those changes using anchor points? I'll show you how to do that. But first of all, let me show you a somewhat finished clip that shows you the difference we have when we use anchor points. The first step is to take my clip and put it on track number one. And then I'm going to double click on it and get into my PIP designer. Now that I'm in my PIP designer, when I drag down on the properties tab with that highlighted, I now notice I have a new option here that says anchor point. And I have a checkbox below it that says display anchor point. Right now it's on and you see the little green emblem that looks like a thumbtack and I'm going to turn that either on or off. I want it on because I'm going to use it. Now what I want to do is I want the anchor point to be in the center. The default is X and Y value if you notice on the left of 0.5. So at the very first frame I'm going to drag down in my keyframe area and I'm going to choose the brand new one called Anchor Point, click a diamond, and now it's set. It starts out right in the middle. That's what I want. Then I'll move in approximately 10 seconds into this particular clip, and I'll click the diamond and set another anchor point. So we're not changing the anchor point for the first 10 seconds. I'm going to press the end key on the keyboard. That will move my cursor or time indicator to the last frame. And now I'm going to set another anchor point. Now you don't actually have to click a diamond. It's just a habit I have. But we're going to click one there. I'm going to change the anchor point by taking my little green thumb tag, holding the mouse on top of it, and moving it over to the phone. And now the center of my clip is going to be centered around the phone. It's not quite as simple as that because you notice when I click somewhere else, I notice that my video is not centered on the screen. I'm going to go back to the first frame and I'm going to reposition the video and I have the two pink lines, one at the top, one at the left, and that took care of that. But let's play it again and see what happens. When we start, it focuses right just like it did before. It goes to the woman sitting at the table and instead of basically focusing on her watch, it's going to move again so the phone is in the center of the screen. Now you notice I have a problem now. The other problem I now have is that the screen has some black around it. How do I fix that problem? I'm going to change it with the scale keyframes. I move to the anchor point value in my keyframes and then I'm going to set a scale value. We'll leave the scale at normal. I'll just click a diamond and the scale will be as we look on the left side. I move up slightly. 
1.0, 1.0 at this point in time. Okay, the scale doesn't change. But now when we go to the last frame, I'm going to change the scale. I move my slider on the scale value and I'm going to make it just big enough to so it covers the screen. And now I see that the phone indeed is at or near the center of the screen. So now I've adjusted my scale value as well as my anchor points. And when we play this segment of the clip, camera zooms in on her, but now watch what happens. It doesn't stay on her. It now zooms and gets even tighter on the phone. That's exactly what I wanted. And if you want to take the scale and modify it slightly, you can use the ease in and ease out value. I need to be at one of the keyframes or ease out at the beginning. And then I can go to the last one and I can do the ease in. And that will make the motion a little bit more fluid than it was before. Let's play that segment again slightly. It's zooming in on her. And now the camera focuses not on her but on the phone. So that gives you a way in which you can use anchor points in the PIP Designer in a video with a scale value.